Hey guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez en canal. If you're new here, what is up? Today's going to be another one of my Dollar Tree hauls. I'm going to try to not have to edit this too, 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 too much. But I kind of have a lot of stuff that I really want to share with you guys. I'm already sweating. There's a lot happening in the background, but I feel like usually, lately, there's a lot happening in my backgrounds. So it's fine. It's a little bit caliente -tay in here love that for me but i have some stuff that i'm super excited to share with you guys and that i want to start putting out in the house to decorate with and i have people yelling at me to decorate so i wanted to film this with you guys show you what i picked up before we get on into the haul just ignore my hair it's wild it's doing its own thing it's there okay and hopefully I hope you guys choose to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell notification so YouTube can let you know every time I do post new videos. For right now, I'm still going to keep videos every Sunday. I think I want to have a vlog maybe every two weeks. I'm going to try to work that out. So if I do vlogs, I'll have a video on Sunday and hopefully a video on, I'm thinking, Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. So let's get on into this Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna start with the signs first, and I just have to say, I already picked up Christmas stuff. Because they had it in the store, and I know, I'm well aware, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are, if you don't pick up the stuff when it's there at Dollar Tree, you'll probably never see it again. Like I even mentioned to someone the other day, I was like, have you noticed that like we went to the same exact Dollar Tree two weeks ago? and I don't see anything that I picked up. It's all different. It's That stuff is nowhere to be found. It's all gone. Yeah. So first thing that's not related to any holiday coming up, it is just one of these cutting mats. So I'm pretty sure it's just Crafter Square, just Dollar Tree brand. But this looks like something that you would get from any craft store, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any of those things. It's literally just a cutting mat. So there she is, but I needed that. Sometimes it's nice to have that if you're working on like a smaller little area. You guys know I do stuff with my planners and all that. So we like having something like that handy. I'm gonna mention, I guess the Christmas stuff first just to get it out of the way. And then we'll go to the more right now upcoming holiday stuff. So, I had to pick up the little gnome guys. I'm trying to miss the glare. Um, why did I pick this up when I hate gnomes? I don't know, but they just got me. Something about them just got me and I had to get the gnome stuff. I already saw all of the gnome tree ornaments. I passed on those at least for now because I really don't really like gnomes. But these are super cute. So this one just says welcome. This one says Merry Christmas. And then I think there's a third. Oh, no. Okay. At least for what I saw, I only saw two different colors of these guys. But they look very similar to the ones that are on the stakes. So this one has three different colors. But they do come on the little stakes. I guess if you have other decorations from Dollar Tree 2, you can just stick a stake on these ones and it's going to be the same thing, which they have different tags on them. Like this has a hangy thing on it and this one doesn't, but they look very, very similar, right? They're just going to sit in different spots of your house, I guess, or wherever you're decorating. So here's the blue one. Love all of that glitter. I mean, I don't know why there's glitter on the mustache and on his beard, but I guess it's all of his hair. So there's the blue guy. And then we got this one. So we've got Snowflake with the blue, Candy Cane in the red. This one though, he, his pants and his hat are blue. This one is blue and green, blue and green, red and green. And then we have the plaid guy. So I found the three of these guys. I'm not sure if there's more, but these are the ones so far that I've found. So I'm trying to kind of miss the glare. There's the plaid. Here's his little sweater patterns. That's 
I did this already. <sighs> yeah. So that happened already. That's literally, okay, it was this and like a few other things, but I'm pretty sure that's like all the Christmas that I picked up. It wasn't a lot. Had to get this one. Gnome for the holidays. I really do not really like gnomes, so this is annoying for me. But gnome for the holidays, I had to get it. It was cute. I think there was another version of this shape and kind of idea for a sign too, but I just like this one, so I only got that one. Okay, I'm pretty sure, at least for the signs and stuff right this second, that that's all Christmas. So now back into fall Halloween. <sighs> I had to get this for some reason i have a feeling i got this the other day but i can't remember so i picked it up again if i have it twice then i have it twice it was only a dollar but this one is so cute i cannot wait right now to go out in the living room and find somewhere to put this so cute farm fresh pumpkins 25 cents a pound and it is a steak and just clear or plain on the back but what's weird is it gives you the steak, but it also gives you the option to hang it up. So kind of random, but sure. So I got that. And then this is the only one of like the extra large signs that I've been able to find so far. It's the Day of the Dead one, the Dia de los Muertos one. So I love this guy. I love how large it is. I definitely have a spot where I can put this all ready. So I'm hoping it's gonna fit there perfectly but we love that it is literally ginormous and just blank on the back so huge okay very happy with that one i probably should have got more than one so that i could have such a larger sign that i could just diy myself but i only picked up one but speaking of more large signs i found this one and they were on the same like hook so I had a feeling there was gonna be different versions of it because Dollar Tree does usually do that, where if they do one shape of sign, there's usually at least two just variations of it. But so this one says, sees all, knows all. Again, it's pretty large. You could always DIY this to do whatever you want with it, but I love this. This one's definitely gonna go somewhere in this office. I'm kind of gonna do that theme, I think in here of like fortune teller type stuff in here because i just like the vibe of it i have a little thing on the door if you can kind of see it just the white spooky on the door there but this one i love and then one that kind of goes with it is just this one that says fortune teller so it's the same idea we see that oh can this not ruin it the fortune teller sees all knows all these were the only two of like this that i saw so far they're so large i can barely even like hold it in the frame they're just large and in charge last of the signs is chef's kiss it's so good it's so good because it's reversible i've never personally seen them do a sign that's reversible maybe i'm just forgetting about something but like, look at this. So one side says welcome and it's the shape of like a coffin. And again, it's another one of their ginormous ones. I don't know why I didn't get at least three of these. It's just people usually don't let me buy stuff when they go with me. And then the other side just says trick or treat. But this one again is so, so large. Like who told them to make signs this large because they need a raise these are everything i don't even know which side i like better but the nice thing about this too is we know the dollar tree signs are usually pretty easy to diy they're literally just a printed out for like thing for the sign you can just peel this up pretty easily and just diy this yourself sorry the chair and just diy it yourself but again muy grande we love all right so then, kind of on the on the same idea of signs, but not, I finally picked up the pumpkin little frame for like the wreaths. I have never, ever, ever been able to find this. Each year that everyone raves about finding these, I can never get them. 
I finally have one. I should have picked up two, but again, people don't let me buy stuff when they shop with me, so. I got Una. All right, so let's get on into the bags of stuff. I don't even know which bag to start with. Start with this bag because it's like all the same thing in here. So here we are with our Dollar Tree bag. Okay, in this bag, I'm gonna mention first the thing that is more Christmassy, but really you can use it for anything. It is these little DIY snow globes. I don't know why I think this is like the cutest idea, DIY idea thing ever. So cute. It's just a little baby DIY snow globe. They're super nice the way that they are too. It even has like a little thing to make sure they don't leak in here. And it's got your little instructions of how to go about doing this, I guess. <sighs> how nice is that? So they're pretty small actually, but I think I got three total of these because I feel like three is usually what makes a set, like a nice little set. So I just picked up three of these guys. We'll see what I make with these. I mean, because technically they don't really need to be Christmas. You can kind of do anything with these guys. So we'll see what ends up happening with those. And it fell on the floor. Okay. In, in this bag, I had to pick up some more of these pumpkins. I feel like I grab these every single year and I'm not even mad about it. Every year I find these, it's like they always do something to them that just makes them a little bit better each year also. But I love getting these mainly because you can get these from like Target and Walmart, but they sell them for crazy prices. Okay, mind you, the glue is a little crazy on some of these, but I can't be mad at it. I have had the hardest time finding these this year. These are literally the only ones that, that I found. So I only got the colors that I really liked and they only had this many of each color that I liked. So I only found two pinks. I don't know why the paint on this one is kind of coming off of the stem a little bit. They are the squishy squishy, but just fall pumpkins in this beautiful pink color. I kind of just wanna leave these here. So there's the pink. I only found one of this beautiful green color, but like, look at that. How pretty love it only found one of that beautiful green now mind you like i said i pick these up every single year i don't remember how many i have in my storage but i should be going to my storage not this weekend but next weekend so we'll see if we find them <laughs> but and then i only found two of these beautiful kind of like a plum purple color super pretty i'm not sure if last year or in the previous years the stems have looked just like that i don't know but those were the only ones of the colors that I liked. I did find the ones that were like the buffalo check or like the plaid in whatever colors they have. Orange, I think there was a blue. I actually wasn't about that. And then I found some of these pumpkins in orange, but for some reason those just didn't speak to me. It was only those colors that day. Why? I don't know. We have some more kind of signs. I didn't, I forgot. These are in the bag because they're super full of glitter but these are cute and I actually need to get these put out in the living room too. How cute are these? Okay. So they're like sugar skulls. I only found two different colors of these. So this is more like a baby blue, baby pink version there. And then I found this one that's more of like a green. So these are the two. Ooh. So like that, is it on me right? I don't know. But so the nice thing about these ones though, the cat wants to get out, is they have a little stand. So they'll just stand perfectly like that on your table, your shelf, wherever. Something else I should have really got more of, but I only got one of each color. I think this is some more signs because it's wrapped up because of the glitter. Oh, it's these ones, okay. Oh, I thought I broke it. So much glitter on these also, but very much worth it. So some more stuff for Dia de los Muertos. 
sugar skulls. I like these guys because they have little hats on them. So you've got like this guy. I think they're all different. Yeah, here's the guy with the red. And then there's that one. So I picked up a few of these. I got this one here. I think maybe I only got one with the hats, but I got two of this one, but they might be different. So here is another one of the sugar skulls. It's just a little string of them. So they are all different on there. Okay, covered in glitter. It's weirdly not coming off too bad. It's just because I'm touching it. But those are completely covered. I guess to look more like a sugar skull, so that's cute. Yeah, this is the exact same one. So I grabbed two of this one, I guess to kind of make a set of three. A lot of glitter. So I had to grab some of these little baby pumpkins. I'm pretty sure they've done this before in previous years. I don't really think I ever really picked them up. Don't ask me why, but this year I was like, this is the right thing to do. We're gonna get them this year. So I picked up that little orange one. I forget which ones I grabbed, but so there's another one. So I got two so far of these little orange ones. Cute. Then, ooh, it's like, wine-ish red color super pretty we love i don't even know where to put stuff right now there's so much stuff this one is more of like an orange yeah so we've got orange versus like the red cute the last one in this bag is just another one of the red so again as you can see i kind of don't really grab too much of the oranges i don't know why I just feel like the other colors are cuter. Okay, so in this bag, I have some kind of fun stuff that I feel like you wouldn't expect me to grab, honestly. Still sticking with Halloween stuff and fall stuff first. I got only three of their like handmade looking cards because these were honestly the cutest ones to me. So I got this one that just says boo. And this is set that I thought we could just like kind of sit around in the house just in like kind of random spots and maybe write little notes, but, or maybe just leave them how they are, or I could use them in my journal, my planner. We'll see how it works out. This one I just thought was super cute. It just says happy Halloween. It's the little um, skeleton guy and still in the plastic, obviously. They do come with the cards in here too, which is nice. And this one I just thought was cute. It says happy Halloween. I'm pretty sure you can put your own picture in there but I could be wrong. That's mainly why I got it, is to put my own picture in there. So maybe you can't now that I'm looking at it. Maybe you can do that. Hmm. Yeah, so see, they all have their own envelopes. That's how it's made. It's printed on there. It's like literally a part of the background, so I guess it's not supposed to your own picture in there i thought i was gonna be able to that's mainly why i got that one but it's okay kind of some random things but not random because i definitely have gotten some of this garland before last year or the year before because i think they're super cute i really do in like random little spots like underneath windows around windows on windows it can be cute if you have like nothing else to put there it just can just add just a little bit extra to your decor so i picked up the ghost garland and i mainly picked up two bags of each thing just in case one bag doesn't look that good but also to cover a little bit more space so picked up two of the ghosts Ooh. like i said i just got two of each one for the ghosts we've got two of the skeletons i'm pretty sure some of the skeletons are white and some of them are black it just kind of alternates in there i hope this is showing okay because i can see the light looking crazy but it also just might be my camera or my phone and i picked up two that say happy halloween 
And again, I mainly got two of these in case one doesn't look that good, but they can also go maybe in different rooms or just to make it longer. But I mainly got it just in case one looks bad, just to be on the safe side. Sticking kind of with Halloween, but it's, it's not. I've said it before, I'm a sucker for stuff that glows in the dark. I love glow in the dark stuff. It just gets me every time. So I picked up some of the nail polish that was glow in the dark. I realized that they have a stand at the Dollar Trees that's all of the nail polish. Some of it's glow in the dark. Some of it is glows in black light. But even the ones that do glow in the black light, I, which I did grab some of, they're neon and they are beautiful neons. Like they look so good neon. So I got them, even though they say glow in, glows in black light. Oh my God because they still look nice. But so of the glow in the dark ones, these are the only ones that I found because most of them were sold out, like they were all gone. So they're the LA Colors brand. So I got this one in, I thought they had color names. Maybe they don't, oh they do. This one's Glow Rush. So this is just the yellow. I also got this one, which is the purple. LA colors this one is in the color jinx this is the last actual glow in the dark one that I got so this is just the pinky peach one and this one is in the color love potion so these were the only three glow in the dark ones that I found because they were like all sold out but they had a ton of the glows in black light left so I just kind of picked through which neon colors I liked the best so I just got these four again they're still the LA colors brand but they're really nice neon colors right so I just got the orange one which is the color ionize it's just a neon orange I'm just gonna show them kind of fast this is like the pink peachy color in luminous is what they call that one a really pretty green this one is in the color they just call it fluorescent and green and then last but not least is just the neon yellow and this one's in the color radiation so, love the color names also the last things of makeup that were kind of like on that same stand as all of the nail polishes still la colors because that's like the main makeup brand that they get i just got some colored eyeliners i like doing colored liners sometimes because i feel like it really does make my brown eyes pop a little bit more <laughs> as much as they possibly can um not just as halloween costume stuff but yeah so i got this one they are just the auto eyeliner it's in the color cobalt blue i'm not sure if it says that they're waterproof or anything but it does say glides on smooth i don't really see anything saying smudge proof waterproof or anything like that which usually I do like to look for in my eyeliners this one's in the color lovely lavender so it's like a purple and then I got this one I don't know why the packaging is different but sure this one is the green and it's in the color eclipsed so I only got one of each of those and then I had to grab some more sunglasses I just don't want to talk too much about it. I got, where's my glasses? Because I'm addicted to them. So they're basically the same exact style, just different colors. And they're so cute. So nice. These are actually my favorite ones that I've gotten from Dollar Tree. Look at this. I'm sorry. The I need like five pairs of these in any color possible, but especially the all black because that's just a classic. Like the shape and everything of these is perfection. I'm sorry, like these were a dollar from Dollar Tree. Un dollar, like are you kidding me? Sleeping on the sunglasses, there you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, kind of random they already started putting out like the cold weather stuff <sighs> i tried not to look at it but i'm ready for winter so i don't even care 
Um, but I had to pick up some of these gloves. They had a ton of different versions of these gloves from the brand at Juncture that allow you to like text and use your phone while wearing your gloves. Now I am the biggest advocate for buying cheap winter gloves like this because if I lose them, doesn't even matter, but I hate the ones that I have to take off in order to use my phone. I don't know why that's so painful for me to do, but yeah, so I picked up a few of these. They might have had other way colorways and stuff, but I just grabbed these. So black and then the blue with the gray. So I picked these ones up. And then I also picked up these ones that kind of have like a texture to them in the black and gray and then the red and black. So pretty excited for these, not gonna lie. But so that is everything for this Dollar Tree haul for today. Kind of a lot of stuff, I know. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys have found any of this stuff at your Dollar Trees or if you're still on the hunt for it, throwing the good vibes to you so that you can find it. Also though, let me know if there's anything out there that you guys think that I should be on the lookout for that you haven't seen me shown yet, show yet, because I just, I love adding new stuff to my list to be looking for. But yeah, muchísimas gracias for watching este video. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel again. If you haven't, hit the bell notification so YouTube can let you know when I post my videos. Yeah. That is it until the next video for next week. But muchísimas gracias otra vez for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.